guys. So today I'm gonna to screen print all these thrifted jeans that I got. Um, I actually bought all these to screen print for festival season, but that's canceled due to Corona. So um, now production's really slow too for all my new drops that I had coming. So I figured right now is a good time to do this. Um, a lot of people have been asking me to show how I screen print. And in case you didn't already know, um, I actually started Badwood by screen printing in my parents' garage back in 2013. And I was just like fucking around and it turned into what it is now. And now we're here and I have my warehouse and I'm set up again screen printing. So I'm pretty stoked. Um, I'll just walk you through the process first and then we'll see how it goes. I decided I'm gonna do these cherries first. So this is the screen and this pink stuff is called Emulsion, I think. Um, I don't actually make these screens myself. I get them made by Jim at Screen Tech and that's my boy. He's been making my screens since I started. I've never had anyone else do them. He's really reasonably priced. He's in Chatsworth. So yeah, you should look him up. Um, what you want to do is you want to tape off this part that's see-through because the ink goes through here. So where all the pink stuff is, it's not going to go through and it's going to go through where it's clear. So I already did that on this screen, as you can tell. And you can get all these supplies um, at any screen printing store. The one I like to go to is called McLogan's. Um, they have one in Chatsworth, downtown LA, San Diego, and I'm not sure where else, but they also have an online website. So you can check that out. Um, this is what the tape looks like. And it's not duct tape, it's like, I don't even know what it's called, but it works really well. The biggest bitch about screen printing is cleaning it up, but we'll get to that. So, um, here's my little clamp thing. So you want to screw it in. And then. Um, also, this board looks really weird, but I actually bought this specifically for jeans. So you can just slide a pant leg in like this. See that? Wow. But usually they look like this. This is like a regular t-shirt board. So right now this is heating up. I usually turn it on like right when I start um, setting everything up so it can get heated. It gets really, really hot. Um, if you put this over clothing for too long it'll literally catch on fire like I've burned so many clothes when I was first starting so you only want to put it over there for like 30 seconds at most so here's the ink that I'm going to use this is plastisol ink that's how I print all my stuff everything's plastisol I don't use water-based um, I just like the way this looks and this is the legacy white got this from McLogan's my dogs and then for cleanup this is what I use to clean the screens. Um, you just spray it on and then I wipe it off with like t-shirt scraps because I feel like that works the best rather than paper towels. Also, another thing to note, like these are probably the most difficult things to print on. Usually you want to print on a flat surface, but because these have like pockets and the zipper, like it's not a flat surface, so it's the ink is gonna skip. I can show you an example. This was the first one I did with the jeans. And see how it's it skipped right here because the screen can't lay flat to do a full print. Like it skipped here. So I'm not even worried about it though because I kind of like how it looks. It makes it look like distressed and old. So I'm down for it to be like misprinted and splotchy but on t-shirts and stuff you want to make sure it's fully flat and with t-shirts i actually use this it's a flash adhesive and you spray the board and then you put your shirt on i'm just using the scrap to show you but you spray the board and then you just have it flat and it makes it completely like wrinkle free and then you're good to go and it sticks it on and it's tight. So for the ink, I like to use paint sticks. I don't even know how to describe this consistency, but. Mm, where's my stick? 
I usually just keep one stick for each color. Oh yeah, boy. Okay, so I'm cracking up that I picked this cherry screen to show you guys when I haven't even used it yet, so I didn't even realize that it uh, is small. I didn't have a small enough squeegee. So now I have to do it sideways. This isn't the way you're supposed to do it, but now you can see what my life is like. I always put myself in these situations. <laughs> Okay, so um, this one's going to be misprinted, just fair warning. I kind of just wanted this big cherry to be on it, so the other ones can just be splotchy. I don't give a fuck. Got to be real hard with these jeans. Oh, shit, moment of truth. Oh my god, cute! Okay, so... Here's the cherry. I'm kind of uh, bummed about this boy, but I'm also adding patches, patches to these. So I can just add a patch there, or maybe just leave it? I don't know. So then, we put it under the heater. I didn't have enough money for one of these when I first started, so I bought, when I moved everything to my garage, my parents' garage, I bought like a hand heat gun. What are they called? I don't fucking know, but it was like a hand thing. And I would just sit there and like go through the whole fucking design of the ski mask just really slowly. You know how big the ski mask is? It's like this big. Just like hand doing the whole fucking thing. And that didn't work very well but there was a lot of trial and error with this shit. It's pretty funny. Okay, I'm gonna do this again because I want another big cherry. Okay, so peak game. I did the other side and these are so fucking cool. So here's the, the patches that I was talking about and it's like this little, they're kind of pleathery. So imagine them sewed on just randomly so these will be available, and there's a shit ton of sizes. I have so many. They'll be available soon. And now you can kind of see like all the fucking different work that goes into them. Makes them special. So now I'm gonna do this. gently move it across so that it's like a thick layer. You're flooding the screen with the ink and then you're pushing it through. I just got sidetracked with um, these bleached hoodies I just did and now I want to turn on those. So I'm going to show you what it's like to turn on something normal because the jeans are kind of difficult and Thinking, let's print on these shits. So this is how you do it. You want to make sure it's nice and flat. I'm 
done screen printing for the day, so I'm going to show you how to um, clean the screens. This is my least favorite part. Let me know if there's an easier way to do this. This is how I've been doing it forever. I actually used to just leave them with the ink on the screens until I wanted to change the color, which is not what you should do. Um, because then it'll dry up on there and it becomes a fucking mess. So I just take like, if you have a card, like a business card or something. So I'm trying to get as much of this off as possible. And then I just put it back in the tub of plastisol ink. So I asked on Instagram questions if you guys wanted to know anything about screen printing, so I'll answer those now. A lot of people are calling this paint. It's not paint, it's plastisol ink. It's way different. I also noticed that a lot of people are confused. They think that this is stencils, and the stencils that I do are completely different. That's not what this is. Um, the stencils I do look like this, and I do it by hand. I cut them with X-Acto blades and then I spray paint. So this is stenciling, it's completely different. These are all hand done, it like takes a long time, it's really time consuming. It's from Amazon, it was like $90, and it comes with this shirt um, palette too. This is a flash dryer specifically for plastisol ink, and those range from like $500 to $700. So when I first started out, I didn't have enough money for that. Um, these frames right here, you can get these at McLogan's. Um, they come in different sizes. This one right here is a 19 by 22, and the mesh is 160. So 160 is a good mesh to have when you're using plastisol ink. I pretty much always get 160. I'm pretty sure I think all of these are 160 mesh. Um, this one right here for this size and this mesh was 14 bucks. So they're really cheap. Um, and also because this is a wood one. So the aluminum ones are a little bit more expensive, but not by a lot, because um, those are more durable. Okay, so my process is I buy these blank from McLogan's, and they're, so there's not this pink stuff, there's no artwork, and I bring it over to Jim at Screen Tech, and he burns the screens for me. I have no idea how to burn them, and I never even attempted to figure it out, because it just seemed like a lot, and. I'm pretty sure you need like all this equipment that I couldn't afford at the time. So I was like, fuck that. I'm just going to buy them blank and then bring them to gym and he'll do it. And he, he does it in like a fucking day and it's done. So it's like not worth my time to figure it out. Um, I would highly suggest you guys to do that, especially if you're first starting out, like don't even bother burning it unless you want to learn that. But I didn't have the patience for it. I just wanted to start printing. So yeah. So okay, here we fucking go. This takes forever. It literally takes longer than printing. I just need it. Just a quick backstory on how I learned. So when I was 19, um, I had the ski mask stencil, which I was spray painting on the clothes and people were like, oh my God, I want to buy that blah, blah, on Instagram. And I, I thought that it wouldn't be that legit to sell them on hoodies, like spray painted. Um, I think spray paint on denim is fine, but I wasn't so sure about selling it like that on a hoodie. So I wanted to learn how to screen print and my friend Max had a shop, like a big warehouse in Chatsworth and his buddy, was there doing his little screen printing business and he printed for like YMCA and like all these little places. And so I went over there and they taught me how to screen print. And then from then on, I moved my shit into my parents' garage and screen printed everything there. Here's all the denim that I've printed on so far. And now I decided that I want to spray paint on them too and patch them. So I think that'll be a fun like mixed medium on these and they'll be available soon. Thank you guys for watching and I hope this covered all of your questions. Let me know in the comments. Thanks! Bye!